In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. Amen. 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 Here again, gathered in the faith the Lord has given us, which we gladly share with each other. Lord, you bring us the power of your word, the scripture. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, you give us the gifts of the Spirit to enlighten us in your ways. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins. Bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O God, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive us of your guidance, those you set firm on the foundation of your law. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Second book of Kings. The high priest Sahaya informed the scribe Shabbat, I have found the book of the law in the temple of the Lord. Shabbat gave the book to Shabbat, who read it. Then the scribe Shabbat went to the king and reported, Your servants have slaughtered down the metals available in the temple and have consigned them to the master workmen in the temple of the Lord. The scribe Shaphan also informed the king that the priest Zelchiah had given him a book and then read it aloud to the king. When the king heard the contents of the book of the law, he tore his garments and issued this command to Zelchiah the priest. And he called son of Shaphan, Ephor, son of Micaiah, the scribe Shaphan, and the king's servant, Isaiah. Go consult the Lord for me, for the people, for all Judah, about the stipulations of this book that has been found. For the anger of the Lord has been set 
furiously have raised against us, because our fathers did not obey the stipulations of this book, nor fulfill our written obligations. The king then had all the elders of Judah and of Jerusalem summoned together before him. The king went up to the temple of the Lord with all the men of Judah and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Priests, prophets, and all the people, small and great. He had the entire contents of the book of the covenant that had been found in the temple of the Lord read out to them. Standing by the column, the king made a covenant before the Lord that they follow him and observe his ordinances, statutes, and decrees with their own hearts and souls, thus providing the terms of the covenant which are written in this book. And all the people stood as participants in the covenant. The word. Responsorial song. The response is. Teach me the way of your decrees, O Lord. Teach me the way of your decrees, O Lord. Instruct me, O Lord, in the way of your statutes, that I may exactly observe them. Teach me the way of your decrees, O Lord. Give me the servant that I may observe your law, and keep it with all of my heart. Teach me the way of your decrees, O Lord. Lead me in the path of your commands, for in it I delight. Incline my heart to your decrees, and not to fear me. Turn away my eyes from seeing what is vain, by your way give me life. Behold, I long for your precepts. In your justice, give me life. Jesus' parables often relate back to just 
as the ordinary activities of life. And simply we ask that the Lord may help us uh, bear good fruit in our relationships, our responsibilities. And uh, if there are times that we need to trim, to acknowledge we've gone the wrong direction, uh, that it's the Lord that does the trimming and uh, will bring us back to the place where we need to thrive. So as we maybe take a walk through our yard or it's outside, we may look around and uh, where do we see the good fruit? Uh, what needs to be trimmed? Uh, we can say the same about our relationships, uh, including our relationship with faith in Jesus. Uh, may he help us grow, uh, recognize when maybe we have to be trimmed, uh, as well as uh, about the good fruit to prosper. The Lord's Spirit will show us the way. Brothers and sisters, we pray that these gifts be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father and Creator. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise. Grant that, cleansed by its action, we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you through. Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord 
Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in the company of the choir of angels, we praise you and we joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 Make holy these gifts, we pray, by sending down in your spirit like the new fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and freely entered his passion, Jesus took bread, he blessed it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Give you thanks for all this, bread of life and chalice of salvation, knowing that they bring us into your presence so we may minister to you. Humbly we pray that our taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, that your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, who plays our bishop, with all the bishops, clergy, and all people who gather in your name. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. With the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, your spouse, with your blessed apostles, and with all the saints, we may, you, we may please you, who have pleased you throughout the ages, and may we merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our day, that with the help of your mercy we may be free from all sin and safe from all distress, as we wait in blessed hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you say to your disciples, My peace I give you, my peace is with you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. Amen. Gratefully share that side of Christ with us.
Let us pray. When you've been nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Gathered in the abundance of God's word and sacrament, we go forth to bear good fruit. Thanks be to God.